George Karloftis is a guy from Purdue, edge rusher, who has been on the Browns' radar in some mock drafts. And here you see him, 6'4", 275. You take a look at the scouting report. Uh, good power, relentless motor, keeps things uh, keeps the heat on his offensive counterparts throughout the day. Best production 2019, he missed half of Purdue's 2020 season. Um, the guy is um, a high motor guy, and when you talk to George Kaloftis, uh, that's how he plays the game. Relentless, right? Um, that, that's how I approach life, how I approach the game, uh, in terms of my technique, in terms of how I play, my motor, my effort. Uh, everything about it, relentless. I think I compare myself to his Khalil Mack. He has that speed to power, so I see a lot of similarity between our games. Um, a little different body types, but I think same way we approach the game. I like to watch TJ Watt, Aaron Donald, JJ Watt, Ryan Kerrigan. I mean, the list goes on and on, but yeah. And Tim Bielek, if you tell me I'm getting any of the guys he mentioned, I, 13, sign me up for it. Yeah, I think edge rusher would really be the only position I would consider outside of receiver and maybe even Malik Willis at 13. And if it's Carl Loftus that's still there, I would, have, I would have to think really hard and long about whether or not to pass on receiver and take George Carl Loftus. I think he's that good. You know, he came into Purdue, was outstanding right away as a true freshman. You know, in 2021, numbers weren't necessarily there. But again, teams were really game playing to slow him down. That's kind of the Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa effect that happened at Ohio State, you know, in their later years when teams were double teaming, even triple teaming them at times, trying to make someone else beat them. That's kind of what happened with George Karloftis in his last season at Purdue. And I mean, you look at Purdue's recent history, you know, going back, you know, a decade and a half or so, they've, you know, Brian Kerrigan, Quan Short, both of those guys, tremendous, tremendous defensive linemen. You know, they're very disruptive players. If Karloftis could be on the level of Ryan Kerrigan and Quan Short, you know, he's worth a pick at 13 if the Browns decide they, they'd rather go get that edge guy who can be opposite Miles Gare for the next five to, five to ten years. He's got tremendous power, and I think he really has athletic tools that complement Miles Garrett's game very well.